This, oh God, they had to do that to their bodies. That's so sad. I completely get it though. Like I understand they really have to make it look like a reaver ship, but it's just, it's just so sad. This movie definitely has a lot more um, conflict between the crew going on in it with a lot of like, a lot of moral issues and tension between people. But the issues that they're bringing up are really valid and I feel very conflicted. It's really well done. And I think Shepard had to die too because somebody was going to have to die that Mal really cared about and like the options were Inara or Shepard and it makes more sense that it would be Shepard. Holy fuck. Yeah, they're right. Holy fuck. They were right to do what they did. Do you really want to go to a planet that's... Do you guys really want to go to a planet that's right on the other side of Reaver territory? I'm so scared right now. This is terrifying. This is... This is far too many Reavers. Also, the sound design for this is really good. Oh my god. I don't know what I would do in this situation. Because, like, you don't want to leave your crew. You don't want to, like... It, like, he basically said, if anybody who doesn't want to participate in this, like, you can go. I don't know what I would do. I'd probably stick with them, because what else would you do in that situation? But, Jesus. It might be a beacon, but it's awful weak. A beacon? Oh my god, there's gonna be somebody on this planet. I'm wondering if there's a person on this planet named Miranda, or if the planet's actually called Miranda. Gravity's Earth Norm. Earth Norm? Check. Holy shit. Are there people here? Whoa, the lighting design for this is so trippy. It looks like sterilized and sanitized, but also like ethereal. I love it. I love seeing the way that they're playing with like clearly a bigger budget, like different editing and cinematography. It's really, really well done. Oh God, this is what she was seeing. No entry wounds, fractures, poison. How do you give an autopsy that fast? What is that monster noise? <gasps> Don't turn around. Oh, oh, oh. God, guys, this is giving me like zombie movie flashbacks and it's really f freaking me out. Oh, Kaylee, don't look. Kaylee, don't look. Kaylee, don't look. Kaylee, don't look. Well, you were the one that wanted to come here, River. This is so disturbing. I couldn't imagine working in the art department for this and trying to come up with like that many corpses. Ugh. I'd probably have nightmares for weeks, man. These are just a few of the images we've recorded. Oh, that is that Miranda. And you can see it's the PAX. It's the PAX. The G23 Paxilon hydrochloride that we added to the air processors. It was supposed to calm the population, weed out aggression. The people here stopped fighting. And then they stopped everything else. Oh no, are they getting poisoned right now? Is this crew getting poisoned? I really hope not. Who the fuck is out there? Oh, it's that video. About a tenth of a percent of the population had the opposite reaction to the pack. Well, they've killed most of us. And not just killed, they've done things. Are they ravers? Did they become ravers? Ravers. They made them. They made ravers. Oh, that is real messed up. This is what they feared she knew. Somebody has to speak for these people. As sure as I know anything, I know this. They will try again. They'll swing back to the belief that they can make people better. Mm -hmm. Let people suck. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> I am to misbehave. I am to misbehave. Oh, that's that's a better way of saying it <laughs> than the way I said it. <laughs> it's a fair bit the Alliance knows about Mr. Universe. Yeah. I see this coming. No. Why not? I'm not going to see this coming. Why not? Oh my god, I'm so anxious about the fact that they have to go past the Reavers again. Like, I just hate Reavers so much. Oh, with their bot, with the bot just staring at him soullessly. God, I think it's so. Destroy it all. This guy is such an interesting character because he's just operating on the pro oh my god the reavers holy fucking shit i hate this so much i hate these reavers i hate it i hate it i hate it this character is just operating on the premise of like believing in a cause bigger than yourself and so great that it justifies killing anyone and not even just people getting in your way but like even people who help you because they know too much like that is just so fucked up to me oh no there's a ship following them there's a ship following them there's a no i hate it no Who's that guy? Go! You're on top of the ship now! You should have let me 
Chinese sea, huh, Captain? Wait, are they gonna bring the Reavers? Are they gonna bring the Reavers? They're gonna bring the Reavers! They're gonna bring the Reavers! What? What poetic justice. What poetic justice they're bringing the Reavers. Wow, one of those ships is really, real big. Yeah, smart move, target the Reavers. I'm a leaf on the wind. Watch how I... <laughs> I'm a leaf on the wind. <laughs> I just re oh, I can't even speak. I just really don't want a single reaver ship to come down. It looks like a reaver ship is still following them, and that's concerning me. Like I don't want any of these reavers to make it out. Oh my god! So this guy's totally gonna survive because he has to. He's like the best, the clear antagonist of the story. He's gonna make it at least until the end of the movie. Oh no. Answer is uh, kinda, kinda, kinda works. But aren't there Reavers now? I'm so concerned. The Reavers, where are they? No, it's not working. It's not working. Oh, it's not working at all. Where are the Reavers? I'm so concerned about the Reavers. I'm a leaf on the wind. <laughs> Watch how I go. Watch. Maybe? Maybe no. Baby, come on. You gotta go. Come on. We gotta move. Baby, please. Go out. <laughs> that was a spoiler I heard. But I didn't think it was gonna be that quick. That I was not expecting it to be like that. I thought it would like I thought he'd get a death like Shep. <laughs> oh my god. This is a good hold point. How is Zoe like holding on right now? Is she just in shock? Is she just in shock? We'll buy you the time. Yeah. Zoe's gonna sacrifice herself, isn't she? Oh, I'm a wreck, guys. I'm a wreck. I'm not okay. Are you here? Good job, sir. Are you here? <laughs> he's dead, right? Yeah, he's dead. Now. <gasps> the guy killed me. Now they destroyed my equipment, but I have a backup unit. Where? Right over the generator. You can never stop the signal. Reavers might stop the signal. Tell her you love her, the doc. Please, just tell her you love her. I need uh, some happy ending, please. My one regret in all of this is never being with you. You mean to say? Fine, a fucking Lee. <laughs> Sex? <laughs> what this? Yeah, Kaylee. Yeah, yeah. Zoe keeps moving closer. Why is she moving closer? Zoe! Oh, I know she's pissed and she's devastated, but like they need her! Shot me in the back. Yeah, it's true. I haven't made you angry. <laughs> there are a lot of innocent people in the air being killed right now. Wow! You have no idea how true Wow! Is. How? How interesting! I know the secret. The rest of the verse is gonna know it too. Because they need to. Wow, they both have something they believe in. Yeah. Oh no, not his gun. Kaylee. Guys, some you guys need to keep shooting. Oh my god. No. I can close it from the outside. No one's coming back from that. I still I'm gonna give you something. My back. I just recovered! <laughs> I'm, I'm sorry. <laughs> this isn't fair! You won't? Always taking care of me. Is River gonna go fight them all now? My turn! Oh my god! River! Sword. 
Oh no! Do you know your sinners? I'm a fan of all several. Yeah. Oh my god, he's fighting with a sword in his body. Oh! Yeah. Oh, Mal's gonna die, isn't he? Is Mal gonna die too? I can't handle people dying anymore. I'm sorry. Not this thing. Why do you like to kill people this way? But you're fighting a war. You've already lost. Good job, Mal! Yeah, well, I'm known for that. Piece of shrapnel tore up that nerve cluster in my first tour. Huh. Had it moved. He's not gonna kill him. He's not gonna kill him. He's just gonna leave him there. The Reavers might. I'm gonna show you a world without sin. Holy shit. <sighs> River! Yes! River! River! Oh my god, how many Reavers are there? This is absolutely ridiculous! It's done. Oh. Uh, I mean, what are the options for them? Because their their ship is screwed too. Here she is. Oh my fucking god! If she could have just gone ape shit a little sooner, these guys wouldn't be wounded. It would only be Mal that was wounded. Oh my god, who's behind? Oh, is it more? It can't be more, is it? Oh no, it's the Alliance. Holy shit! Oh my god, this is a beautiful shot. Is he just conflicted? Stand down. Yeah. Oh my god, are they gonna survive? Are they gonna get healed? I'm not okay about Wash still. I'm still not okay. <laughs> oh, so pretty goddess! <sighs> I'm honestly surprised that they didn't all die. After watching Rogue One recently, I was like, oh, they're all gonna die. <laughs> But I care way more about these characters than I do about anybody in Rogue One. Oh, finally, that's nice. I'm happy for you guys. Sir, we have a green light. Inspections paused and we're clear for up. Who's flying? Who's the pilot? <laughs> Ready to get off this heat? Back to civilized life? I, uh, I don't know. Please. Good answer. Oh, okay. I need more happiness, please. Oh, he's gonna fly it, okay. Oh. <laughs> She's gonna fly it for you, bro. You know what the first rule of flying is? I do. But I like to hear you say it. Love. Love keeps her in the air when she ought to fall down. Tells you she's hurting before she can. Makes her hurt. <sighs> All the little dinosaurs. Oh god, a piece already came off. <laughs> well, that was a really, really great movie. Um, and yes, that was the spoiler that I was familiar with, that Wash died. That was what I heard. Um, I had a feeling that it would still wreck me to see it anyways, and it totally did. I still am sad about it, uh, if I think too much about it, to be honest. I definitely didn't expect him to die so suddenly, that really threw me off. And I think that knowing the spoiler in advance made it good that that happened so quickly because it still caught me off guard when it happened. So yeah, that was really hard to see. Uh, Shep dying was really sad, but I feel like um, it definitely needed to happen for the story because it gave Mal and a lot of other people a purpose to keep going because they wanted to fight for, I mean, they wanted to fight for a lot of people, but I think, <clears throat> Fighting for Shep is also uh, a really good incentive to power them. Yeah, this was a really well done movie. I really appreciated seeing the differences between this and the series. There was definitely a lot more um, tension between the crewmates spread out evenly throughout the entire crew. A lot of moral issues and questions being brought up and a lot of um, a really strong powerful um, motivation and intention for Mal to pursue. I really enjoyed watching his arc throughout this movie. Really enjoyed the lighting design and the cinematography. Um, it definitely felt like they were experimental with this while still um, not getting too wacky with it, just making it um, very beautifully done. I really, really appreciated that. I was really happy we got to see more of the Reavers as much as 
I hate them and they're terrifying. That was always one thing that I remember when I started with the Firefly series, seeing the Reavers in the beginning, I remember thinking, well, are these guys gonna come back around? And I think they were seen or mentioned in another episode later, they were elaborated on, but to see them brought up again and really used as a key plot point throughout this story in the movie Serenity, I really think just helps round everything out a bit more. They are such a formidable foe and such a fearful thing that I think it's good to have them to add another color rather than just the main antagonist. Still can't remember that guy's name. I don't know if we ever learned it because I think in the beginning he said he doesn't exist and that's the way it's supposed to be. So maybe we never, we probably just never learned his name. It's, he's just an assassin. Yeah, that was a really good character too. I just really enjoyed a lot about this movie. I think Joss Whedon did an incredible job with these characters and this world. And I think this movie was a really great way to round everything out. Even the ending, he kind of left it with a good resolution, but yet still with room to leave it open-ended enough that if they wanted to come back and do a sequel, they could, but it's definitely not necessary. Um, I really appreciated the ending as well. So yeah, this is a great movie and I hope you guys liked watching this video. I can tell this one's gonna be a hard one to edit, um, mainly because watching certain characters pass away again is gonna be really hard to experience while I'm re-editing it. However, it will also be a fun one to edit because um, the better the movie is, the more fun I know I'm gonna have while editing it, the more into it I'm gonna be while editing it because you know, every time I edit a movie, it's like rewatching the movie all over again. So when you guys watch these videos, it's like me experiencing the movie for the first time, but by the time it gets out to you on YouTube, it's like I've seen it another two times basically. So. It's always fun because I see people pointing out things that I missed. And normally by the time I post the video, I've realized what I missed while watching it, but I still appreciate those comments nonetheless. It's just, yeah, this one's gonna be a tough one <clears throat> to watch again, but also uh, I'm excited to watch it again, see what I missed, because it's a really good movie and I really enjoyed it. And I think there are plenty of little nuances that I didn't pick up on while watching it the first time. Oh, <sighs> well, I think it's time for me to go and uh, <laughs> turn these lights off, go get some tea and try to calm myself down because when I see movies like this, especially after watching a series where you really get so invested in the characters, I get so much more attached to them than I would with just a normal movie. Um, we had the series building up to this, so I really got to see amazing things from all these characters and really got to grow attached to all of them in different ways. But I mean, you guys even knew, like I told you Wash was one of my favorite characters. I think I think I said Wash was my favorite character after watching the 14th episode of Firefly. By the time I finished the series, he was my favorite. But that's also because I have a soft spot in my heart for dorky guys with great comedic timing. So <laughs> I really like Alan Tudyk a lot. and. The good thing is I'm actually not super familiar with all of his work. So the good thing about all of this is now I get to experience more of his work with you guys and watch more of his stuff. Same thing for Joss Whedon. Buffy the Vampire Slayer is for sure on my list. Um, and yeah, I'm just excited. I know a lot of people have also mentioned uh, Dr. Horrible's sing-along vlog. I actually did see that. Uh, years ago, like when I was in high school, I remember stumbling upon that on YouTube because I went through a big Neil Patrick Harris phase and <laughs> like loved NPH with all my heart. I still love him, he's great, but I, I went through a big phase with him around the time How I Met Your Mother was new. So uh, I have seen that, but yeah, I'm excited to experience more things with you guys with some familiar names now and uh, dive into some more worlds and experience more stories. But until then, that's all I have for you guys in this video. I really hope you liked it. If you did, please give it a thumbs up because it really helps me out. It lets me know that you guys like this kind of content. Let me know your thoughts in the comments down below and anything else you might like me to watch next. And subscribe if you want to. Until next time, stay golden.